Hey y'all, this is uh, Dark Sergeant here, doing it with another unboxing and review um, of the uh, Pictech gaming mouse. It's wired, um, has RGB functions on it, uh, picked it up on Cyber Monday, pretty good price, so um, we're just going to check it out, test it, and uh, we'll see what we think about it. Alright, let's get into it. All right, y'all, this is the uh, Pictech Wired Gaming Mouse, uh, RGB. Uh, we'll go ahead and unbox it. Now, I did already make sure everything was working, and I couldn't find a piece of plastic that it comes in, so forgive me. It's not a true unboxing, I guess. There, right there is your mouse. You got your USB. Uh, has the uh, two buttons over here your normal and then these are your DPI selector buttons it's optical so what else comes with a, a manual here briefly looked at that read that um, this however I'm not sure it looks like it's just a mini CD uh, I'm pretty sure it has something to do with uh, the RGB functions or something. Uh, I'll check that out. So I just checked this and I seen that whenever you do change your DPI settings, your colors change. I'll show you all that in here in just one second. Let me hook everything up. All right, y'all. This is the uh, Pictech gaming mouse. Uh, got it all hooked up. Um, I found out that software disk is actually what you use to uh, change your DPI settings, your RGB for how bright it is, how, how, uh, like what pattern you want to use. Uh, you can set it so it changes colors to all these and each one will go up when you hit the up button to a higher DPI setting. Uh, we got the front and back buttons here. Uh, I'm pretty sure our, you you know you'll be able to program those when you're playing a game. Um, other than that, it, it feels really great. You know, it feels perfect in my hand. Uh, it's better than the one that I was borrowing from my buddy when mine took a dump, and uh, he let me borrow this little guy. This thing was uncomfortable. Just you know, just go like that and just palm it. But I mean, it got it it got me out of a pinch, I guess. But this one's great. I love it. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll go into the software and, sh and show you what I did to uh, have to change all the settings and everything about it. Alright, so uh, the program that you installed with the game disc uh, is that T7 Wired Gaming, whatever it says behind it. Um, so just click that, brings up this menu. And you can see that it has... You, like it does have the uh, the button mapping so the forward back you could change that for, for any of this right over here multimedia key you do all that calculator and so I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to button map it like if you're playing Call of Duty or or any other game I guess that has that feature built into it but you can change everything to include you know like your D, your DPI buttons you could actually change those if you wanted to and then you could set up the profiles, pulling, you know, I got all this, this is my sensitivity, scrolling speed, double click speed, <clears throat> got all that. For advanced, this, this shows where you can have your DPI set up, um, which I, I believe you could fine tooth it if you, if you wanted to, um, you know, just as it goes on, it gets to me crazier. And then here's that that deal I was telling you. So I got it on breathe and at four and a half speed. Um, you know, you have steady, which it will just stay there. You can change the brightness. It's at 85. So let's bump those numbers up. That right there. Uh, I guess you got to hit apply for any of that to take effect. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so it's steady now. Um, they got blink plus effect. So let's try that. All right, so it just blinks. And then lighting effect. Um, I don't know. We'll try this neon. I haven't really played much with this. 
Okay, that's cool, I guess. Uh, steady and effects. We'll check that one out. That looks kind of like the breathing one that I had. Steady plus. We'll do neon, I guess. Just try something. See if anything will... Oh, okay. So it just cycles through. It's pretty cool. And then on, I guess whenever you hit your DPI for whatever you for which one that you want, that, that's the initial. And it looks like it goes to purple to start its cycle through. I guess that's that's actually pretty cool. I guess. Um, I still just prefer that I breathe. I don't know. I I just like it. It it goes with my with my keyboard. You can make your your like the uh, the Pictet keyboard. It's a breathing function. I guess it is about the same speed, and you can adjust it on here. Um, macro. Um, yeah, I actually have no clue what this menu does. I mean, if y'all know, put it in the comments or whatever support. That's the latest firmware you can get for it. But, uh, that's about it. All right. Another thing that I like about this is, um, I did, however, buy the Pictech gaming keyboard as well. And, uh. They make a great addition to each other, I believe. They look good. They look snazzy. Uh, I haven't had an issue out of both of them yet, so uh, we'll we'll see what it what it does. All right, y'all. Well, that's my review on the uh, Pictech RGB gaming mouse. Uh, I like it. I recommend it. Um, you know, if you want a good gaming mouse that you don't have to spend so much money, like to get a Corsair or a Razer or whatever. Um, it does the, the job, it does everything that I need it to. Um, I use it on, on Modern Warfare and Warzone. Um, but if y'all get it, let me know in the comments or have anything else to say, just holler. Uh, if y'all want, I stream on uh, Twitch and Facebook. If y'all wanted to follow me, that'd be much, much appreciated. Uh, I got my, uh, my, my Facebook right up here, my Twitch right down here. Uh, it's dark and dangerous. So just follow me and support me. You now it's just something I do on the on the free time. Well, thanks for watching the video. Dark Sergeant out.